Hello everybody and welcome back to Shay's Hobby Dog Bay. Okay, everybody get ready. Go ahead right now and pause the video. Go get you something to drink, something to eat, and get set back, laid back, comfortable some kind of way, and get ready for the long haul. <laughs> Because I have a feeling this is going to be one long video. <laughs> I have been trying lately to keep my videos pretty short. And I've managed to do that. Uh, the reason being, I always have a lot of slow trouble loading them up. Sometimes if they're too long, I can't even get them loaded up. So I'm really kind of scared about this now. <laughs> but yeah, the way I am, the way I talk, the way I waste time like I'm doing right now. <laughs> it's going to be a long video. I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being an hour long or more. Because <laughs> it's what it's about. It's my thing. It's what I love to talk about. My past and my childhood. <laughs> okay. And I have to explain every little thing. And I have to go the long way around and just get everything in there, you know. Okay. Stop wasting time and get to it, Sherry. <laughs> All right. So, and here comes the all. So, that's another thing that wastes time and makes my videos longer. Never fails. I always yawn. All right. So, one of my subscribers that I watch her videos every day, her name is Life with Patty. Her channel name is Life with Patty. Her name is Patty. She made this video. It's kind of, sort of, a tag video. But I don't really think they kind of called it a tag. I don't really know. <laughs> well, she did it. And, of course, I fell in love with it. And I said, yes, I've got to do this. <laughs> All right, well, she did it. Because one of her people that she watches had done it, and she seen it, and liked it, and wanted to do it. So, she had linked that person's channel in her description, so I went and checked her out. Her name is Dawn. Her channel name... Sensibility, or sensibly, I think, saving money, or sensibly saving with money mom, something like that. I didn't write it down and I forgot. I'm so sorry. <laughs> anyway, so I watched hers. She is the one, I think, that kind of started this one off and so <sighs> sorry <laughs> um so i watched again both hers and patty's to take notes anything they talked about that jogged my memory that made me want to talk about for me on mine i wrote it down so here we go, <laughs> finally after four minutes and something in. <laughs> the name of this, if you want to call it, y'all, sorry, my nose is itching. I have to scratch at it. Um, the name of it is Comparing the 1970s to the 1980s. which was the years that Dawn had grew up in, and also Patty. 
Mine's gonna be, it's kind of the same, but a little bit differenter. Y'all see what I mean? My age. I'm a little younger than they are. My nose is looking blah, 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 blah. So anyway, and also kind of in a way comparing it, come, if I could talk, comparing it to today's time and how things are, which really and truly I ain't going to be able to do a whole lot of that because I don't know how today's time is. I don't have little kids and or teenage kids and I stay at home and don't go nowhere and I mean, I know what I hear, but we'll see how that goes. Okay. So, I've got all my things that I'm going to talk about numbered, and they're not in order. I'm just going to have to talk about each one throughout the whole years, okay? So, number one, when I was born, I was born September the 21st of 1968. So I am 52 years old. And I think Dawn said she was, or Dawn, however you say her name. I hope I'm not butchering it. I'm sorry if I am. Um, she said she was born, I think, in 1955? 65? 1965? Yeah. I think she's like She's 55 years old, where I'm 52. So that's the little difference there that I was talking about. And I think Patty is, too, if I ain't mistaken. Excuse me. Sorry. So, now, where I was born. I was born in Metairie, Louisiana. But my family, who is my mom, my dad, and my two older sisters lived in Kenner, Louisiana. It was a smaller town. It did not have a hospital there. So the hospital was in Metairie, and that's where Mom had to go to have me. Okay. Uh, we lived in Kenner, Louisiana until I was five years old. Now, I'm going by, I don't remember this, you know, but I'm going by what mom, what I've heard and what my mom and all's told me. Okay, but there is a few little events that I can remember. I seem to kind of remember more of my, not too many of them, but more of my babier years than what it seems like everybody else in the world does. Because I can start talking about that time, and they'll look at me and they'll say, how do you remember that when you was that young? <laughs> I don't know. Ask God. He's the one made me, made me to remember it. <laughs> so anyway, but I do. And I am proud of that. I love history. I love my life memories, my childhood memories. But there is a few things I can remember when I was a baby. I'm not telling all about that right now. Because that, I don't think, really has anything to do with this. But anyway, so, um, as far as there in Kenner, I, I can remember some things. I was really young. But I don't remember a whole lot, you know, about the things like they're asking about, like the neighborhood and the cars and the phones and the computers and playing outside and shopping and uh, even Christmas time and all of that. Uh, I'm trying to think. Now, we did move a good little bit. So, when I was five years old, we moved from Kenner, Louisiana. Make sure I get this right now. To Seminary, Mississippi. 
and uh, we lived in a trailer in trailer in a trailer park in Kenner. And when we moved to seminary, we also moved in that we moved our same trailer into a trailer park in seminary. And seminary is also a small town. And um, so I I can remember now in Kenner, I remember playing outside like on our patio. And having my favorite book, and that's one of the things I remember as a baby there, kind of. Uh, in seminary, I can remember playing outside and riding around on my little tricycle on our patio in front of our trailer. And uh, then we had a friend. I had a friend. It was neighbors. It was actually the landlords of the trailer park that we was renting from, the spot from. And they lived in a brick house right there beside it, where our trailer was parked at their trailer park. And they had a little girl my age, and we were friends. And I would go play with her. She would come play with me. Um, she had a swimming pool. I would even would go get in the pool with her and stuff like that. Of course, you know, Mom would go over there with me and everything. So I remember all of that kind of stuff. All right. Then we moved to... Uh, it was called Bowie Swamp. We moved our trailer there. It was our land, or my grandpa's land at the time. And then later he deeded it to my dad. And then later when I got married, my dad deeded me that spot. Okay. So, uh, I may have to make this one part, two part, possibly even three part. We're already living in sin. And I told y'all this was going to be long, and I don't want it to be that long. So I think that, I just thought about trying to do that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So anyway, we moved our trailer to Bowie Swamp. And uh, now let me think. Let me get my thoughts together. Um, okay, see, I need to back up. When we moved to seminary, I was five years old. And the way my birthday fell, September 21st. I just remember this. I don't really remember exactly when school started, but because of where, where my birthday was and when I was going to turn six, I actually started. I didn't go to kindergarten at all. That was not mandatory back then, I don't think, for us to go to kindergarten. So mom didn't put me in kindergarten, uh, but I started first grade while I was still five years old. And while in the first grade, I had my birthday and turned six. Okay, I can remember uh, walking to school with my older sister and middle sister. Now, they were a lot older than me, okay? My oldest sister was 11, 12, almost 12 years older than me. My middle sister was seven years older than me. Um... But we would walk to school because we wasn't far from town where the main street where the school was. So we would walk there and walk back. And my mom worked at a junction, a restaurant. She was a waitress. And I can remember going there and sitting in a booth and us eating there. It would be sometimes it would be after school. And then um, I can remember... <laughs> Okay, let me explain something here. And I need to hurry up and wrap this one up and let this be part one. I don't want to get these too long. Okay. Uh, my age, my birthday, and my body, whatever age that is, all my life, even to, to now, my mind has always been younger than my age. I am not saying anything bad. I am not putting myself down. I am just telling facts. That's how it has always been with me. My mind didn't grow up enough and catch up with my age, in other words. I was still, as an older teenager, I was still a kid playing kid games and kid toys and dolls and stuff. So, and there's nothing wrong with that. So, uh, okay, I got to get my thoughts together here. What was I saying? Where was I at? Oh, yeah. Uh, the junction. I can remember sitting in a booth by my daddy. And at that age, 
this was probably when not too long after we had moved there. I was five years old, okay? I still had one of my favorite bottles. It was a teddy bear. It was brown and orange. Not that I was a baby on a bottle, like drinking milk out of it and stuff. It wasn't that kind of a thing. It's just that that was my favorite bottle. And I really liked it, and Mom never had gotten rid of it. And I still had it at that age, and I loved drinking out of it. And I would drink Coke out of it. And uh, I can remember... Now, I think I had the bottle at the junction. It may be that I didn't really have the bottle at the junction. But I had something seem like I was drinking on something. But I can remember I would be standing up, and I've always been short. Like right now, I'm 4'11", okay? So I'm short. And when everybody else out there talks about how they're so short, and then they say they're five-something, I say, huh, honey, you ain't short. I'm 4'11". That makes me mad when they say they're short when they're five-something. I'd love to be five-something. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I can remember standing up in the booth at the junction by my daddy, and I was drinking something, whether it was my bottle or maybe it was just a glass of something from there. I don't know. But I can remember playing with his earlobe. I'd stand there by him, and I would do this. <laughs> and I know, that has nothing whatsoever. That's what makes this long. All this makes me think about other things that really don't have anything to do with this. And then I go and be longer. So we're 16, almost 17 minutes in. I got to leave this here and let this be part one. And then I need to make a part two, y'all. I'm so sorry. It's It may be part three, part four, part five. Because it's a lot. got 18 things here to talk about. And I take forever. I really only talked about the first two things, to be honest with you. I ain't even really talked about every aspect of those things. I got to get my mind, my thoughts. It's hard to get to think, go over all this and get my thoughts together. Okay, this is part one. This is the end of part one. I'll be back. Now, I'm only going to do these these parts one part a day but in a row, okay? So, please bear with me on this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, y'all. This is the end of this one. I'm out of here until next time. I'm done. I'm gone. Toodle-boo-hoo.